nth root of a real number. Now, very briefly, the nth root of a looks like this. So this is the nth root of a. And if the nth root of a is equal to number b, right? so if we have the nth root of a equals b, uh, then this simply implies that b to the power of n is equal to a. Now, uh, the proof for this is uh, pretty simple proof. If I have b to the power of n equals a, and I take the nth root on both sides, because what I do to one side I have to do to the other, then the nth root cancels with the nth power, and that gives me b equals to um, the nth root of a. So, <clears throat> uh, both sides of, of this here on the left hand side or on the right hand side of the arrows, both sides are equivalent to each other. And so the nth root of a equals b means that b to the power of n is equal to a. A uh, quick example. If um, we ask you to find the cube root of a and tell you that's equal to 3 and ask you to solve for a, solve for a, then uh, according to the rule above, then uh, a is simply equal to 3 to the power of 3. And that means a equals 27. If if a is less than 0, so if a is negative, and if n is also even, then b, which we have up here as the solution of the nth root of a, it's not part of the real numbers, not an element of the real numbers. So let's see why this is true with an example. If uh, So I said if a is negative, so if I have, for example, negative 2 under the fourth root, right? 4 because I'm choosing an even power, sorry, an even n. So n is 4, which is even. What this implies is if this is equal to some number b, what this implies is that b to the power of 4 is equal to negative 2. Now, it's impossible to multiply b with itself an even number of times and get a negative answer. Because let's say, uh, let's say we have uh, b is some negative number, then we'll have negative times negative times negative times negative, um, and four negatives becomes a positive. While if I have only positive, so if b ends up being a, a positive number, so positive times positive times positive times positive, well, that's also a positive number. Um, so b cannot ever, b to the power of 4 cannot ever give me a negative number. So this is impossible. So we say that uh, this b does not belong to the real numbers.